Hello, hello. The Eagle Eye among you will have realised that I have left Bristol and I'm up north in the UK whacking some climbs and it's class. So we're going to go over a little bit of analysis, see out what numbers I'm at and uh, generally just look into the, the, the state of my fitness. Obviously, my straw is in the link below. Very much appreciated if you follow that, if you want to see what my training is. Um, so for some reason, I decided on, um, on Tuesday to do a 20 minute test. I just want to see what my numbers were. And I did 308, uh, 317, what's 385, no, I'm doing that, um, before I got mugged off by traffic lights. So normally what happens in cheddar is that you go straight on and it's actually quite good. But this one I had to go down here and then there was like traffic, it was turning. And it was just, it was an, very annoying. Uh, obviously I had a couple power dropouts and stuff, but generally, you know, I think I would have done like 318 for 20 minutes, which is like, you know, a bit like anyone can say that, oh yeah, I did 12 minute effort, like probably would be 20, but you know, it's, it's going to be around that level, which is okay. Um, so I changed my FTP slightly, but I mean, it, it was like seven watts higher than what I did last time for my 20 minute test. Um, but nothing crazy. Um, I weigh myself in the day at 60 kilos. I've now consistently 60 to 61 kilos. Um, and I hope for hill climb season to get down to like 58, um, and see how that goes. So the next day, um, I came up North, um, drove to the Lake District, which is very nice. Staying with some friends. Um, and, uh, we did Great Dunfell. If you don't know what Great Dunfell is, it's probably the best the best climb in the UK, or well, best climb in England, UK, maybe not. Um, it's 8% out of for seven kilometers, but it's very up and down. You can see here, there's really fast sections, there's really slow sections. Um, and I did 294 watts, but 300 normalized. I had some issues, there's a gate, and then I dropped my chain there, and on a steep part, I dropped my chain as well. So obviously, you know, I lost about 30 seconds on each of those, so about a minute down, so I would have done 27, uh, 2740, 2750, because obviously when you stop, you do actually, get your breath back um so anyway you can see um we didn't go hard enough straight from the beginning i was sitting on people's wheels so you can see that's why my heart is not too hard to begin with um i was sort of sitting on wheels it's pretty choppy and then as soon as we got um we turned right up here then it was it was super super steep so my plan was just to sit on 310 watts um so you'll see this like first part here um i was just doing 308 watts 17k an hour eight percent gradient 5.1 watt per kilo um, and I just tried to keep that consistently the whole time. And then after the gate, again, 314 watts. So 11% gradient. Cadence is okay. I had 39 to 32, so not horrendous. It does get very steep. Then there's the, the fast section. Then this bit here, I was, I was doing all right. It was 11K an hour, um, 14%, but um, I then uh, dropped my chain. But I'm gonna, I need to sort that out. Um, but we'll, just, we'll discuss that to, uh, later. And then the last bar really died off and couldn't do very much power to 290 watts. Um, on this part here, but it was it was super good effort. I was I was pretty happy. Um, if we look on um if we look on the training peaks, you can see it was my uh, my second highest um heart rate of all time, 193. So I was I was like whacking. It. Obviously, I, I whacked some caffeine before. It. Um, I don't normally do caffeine, but just quite funny. Um, to see to see how it was. Um, but if we go if we go on the laps, um, we can see here that um the normalized was 302. Um, for the tw of which is sort of more on my Garmin, it said 304, 306, so about five watts per kilo climb. Um, the van was pretty decent as well. Um, you can see the van was 1352, so that's um, not bad. Um, van, if you know, you know what that is, um, it's like average climbing speed. Uh, anyway, today was just some more efforts. Um, by a change crank set because I don't want my chain to come off, it's basically because I have the chain rings the one way around, but also 39, 32 up some of these climbs, pretty grim. This is 12% for two kilometers and it gets very, very steep. You can see here, I was going pretty hard up this climb. Um, overall, uh, actually, we'll have a look at Great Dunfell. I was I was like all right up there. Um, not obviously like some of my mates did really, really uh, fast and with some uni ads and um, man, they got gas. Um, I don't, <laughs> I used to, uh, yeah, used to, used to be able to put some of these lads in the bin, um, but now it's, um, now it's not great. So yesterday, yeah, this lad called Jolly Rapid Lad, Ted Cross, all these boys put me in the bin by quite a lot. Uh, shout out to old Ollie Beresford as well. Um, but yeah, he did a 20 minute test, James, but he's he's rapid as well. So, uh, you know, it's um, 60th on out of 5,900 is not bad considering I lost my chain twice, but we're not going to make excuses. Um, you know, I, I went hard and it was good, but today I didn't lose my chain. You can see another lad, Tom Arco, he's uh, top 10 on that segment i just did you know just cruising up there like cruising you might say but to get up there you've got to you've got to whack it pretty hard um and then you know we did a nice loop at the lakes it's really nice running here i'm super super big fan and i did this struggle 
just sort of cruised up at like 180 beats a minute, like nothing mega. Um, I sort of pushed on towards the end, but it was pretty nice. Obviously, not having power is an ideal. But you can see again, it's a super steep climb. So this last part here is like 16% for 500 meters, which is pretty pretty steep. Um, and then the first part again is quite steep as well. But then you've got a nice faster section in between. Um, so anyway, there we go. That's how my training's going. I've my FTP is up by about what 10 watts probably. 8 to, 8 to 10 watts, so I'm pretty happy with that. I had a significant time off. Um, I was on holiday, I was loving life, um, as, as you can see. Um, but yeah, we're building into hill climb season. I'm pretty happy, like, to be honest. Um, I sort of, like, used to be a bit harsh on myself and be like, I need to get back to 350 watts again. I mean, it's like 330 FTP. Um, my FTP is probably like 300, just over 300 now, so it's like 25 watts to go, I think. Which, you know, I haven't done too many efforts, so I think it's going to happen. Uh, I hope, and um, obviously the weight's looking good as well. I'm not really focused about weight too much at the moment. I haven't really been like properly on it. I just try and try and eat super healthy and stuff, and try not to eat too much shit, and that generally sorts me out. And I can get down to 60, 61 without trying. Uh, but for hill climbs, I want to see like can I get down to 58? Does my power go down, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Um, but yeah, we've got our first hill climb next next Saturday, Dursley Road Club. Excited for that. It's about a five minute climb. Um, should be good. Try and hit like three, three ninety for five minutes, I think. Um, and yeah, see how it is. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Um, make sure to subscribe and like. Uh, follow us on Strava if you want to see any dayers. Um, I'm probably going to run out of power tomorrow. I'm doing a Fred Whitten, which is like 200k, 4,000 meters of climbing. It's basically the same as this, but just double elevate, double the um, the, double the distance. And uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll see how this is going. And lob up the power meter back on and um, try and whack some climbs. I'm hoping, because uh, I've been doing a lot of endurance, that by like Sunday, all these boys are a bit ruined. I've put some of them in the bin, but... I think that's going to be a tough day out. So anyway, cheers for watching, and uh, see you in the next one.